we have some announcements. You are invited to the following Holy Week activities. Lenten Recollection with Father August Pulido on Holy Monday, April 3. Bishop Roby Gaa on Holy Tuesday, April 4. And Father Dave Conception on Holy Wednesday, April 5, after the 6 PMS. Confessions will be made available while the collect recollection is ongoing. Evening Mass of the Lord's Supper on Holy Thursday, April 6 at 5.30 in the afternoon. For Good Friday, April 7, the communal way of the cross will be at 10 in the morning. The praying of the Divine Mercy Chaplet and Novena will be at 11 a.m. The meditations on the seven last words of Jesus on the cross will be at 12 noon and the celebration of the Lord's Passion will be at 3 in the afternoon. Easter Vigil on Black Saturday, April 8, will be at 7 in the evening. On Easter Sunday, April 9, we will follow our regular Sunday schedule of Masses. We invite boys who are already gone, who have already gone to First Communion, and young professionals to join the altar service ministry. They are the ones serving at the altar, assisting the presider at Mass. You may approach the chapel office for inquiry. We invite the community to join our greeters and collectors ministry and the intercessory prayer ministry. The greeters and collectors ministry are the ones assisting the Mass goers to find seats and collect offerings. The intercessory prayer ministry will lead the community in prayers like the rosary and novenas before each mass. Please approach the chapel office for your inquiry. We would like to request everyone to refrain from clapping our hands at the dismissal of the mass. After post-communion prayer, we will have a second collection for our Love a Parish program which helps 475 parishes and charitable institutions all over the country. For more information, you may visit the Facebook page of the chapel, Greenbelt Chapel, Santo Nino de Pa. Thank you. Welcome to the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. Today is April 2, Palm Sunday of the Lord's Passion. Our presider for this Holy Sacrifice of the Mass is our chaplain, Reverend Father Dave Conception. Please all stand. Let us begin our celebration in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, since the beginning of Lent until now, we have prepared our hearts by penance and charitable works. Today, we gather together to herald with the whole church the beginning of the celebration of our Lord's Paschal Mystery, that is to say, of His Passion and Resurrection. For it was to accomplish this mystery that He entered His own city of Jerusalem. Therefore, with all faith and devotion, let us commemorate the Lord's entry into the city for our salvation, following in his footsteps, so that being made by his grace partakers of the cross, we may have a share also in his resurrection and in his life. We will now have the blessing of palm branches. Kindly raise them up. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, sanctify these branches with your blessing that we who follow Christ the King in exaltation may reach the eternal Jerusalem through Him who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus and the disciples drew near Jerusalem and came to Bethpage of the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples saying to them, Go into the village opposite to you, and immediately you will find an ass tittered and a colt with her. Untie them and bring them here to me. And if anyone should say anything to you, reply, The master has need of them. Then he will send them at once. This happened so that what had been spoken through the prophet might be fulfilled. Say to daughter Zion, Behold your king comes to you meek and riding on an ass, and on a colt, the, the fowl of a beast of burden. The disciples went and did as Jesus had ordered them. They brought the ass and the colt and laid their cloak over them. And he sat upon them. The very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, while others cut branches from the trees and strewed them on the road. The crowds preceding him and those following keep crying out and saying, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And when he entered Jerusalem, the whole city was shaken and asked, Who is this? And the crowds replied, This is Jesus the prophet from Nazareth in Galilee. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, like the crowds who acclaim Jesus in Jerusalem, let us go forth in peace. Hosanna nga mingawi sa anak ni David Sa ngala ng Diyos sa sala Pagpapala at pagtubo sa amin Magdala ng mga palaspas Sa lubungin siya ng may galak O sana, O manunubos, salamat sa Diyos na buhay. O sana ang aming awit sa anak ni David. Sa ngala ng Diyos na sa langit, pagpapala at pagtubo sa amin. Kabataan ng Jerusalem, masayang nagawitan. O sana, o manunubos, salamat sa Diyos na buhay. O sana ang aming aw sa anak ni David. Sa ngala ng Diyos na sa langit, pagpapala at pagtubo sa amin. Ang mga anghel sa langit, nagpupuring walang patid. Dito sa daigdig kami nakiani sa kanilang pag O sana ang aming awi sa anak ni David Sa ngala ng Diyos na sa lang Pagpapala at pagtubo sa amin Sa ngala ng Diyos na sa lang Pagpapala at pagtubo sa amin Sana ang aming awit sa anak ni David Sa ngala ng Diyos na 
sa langit, pagpapala at pagtugos sa amin. Magdala ng mga palaspas, salubungin siya ng magdala. O sana humanunubos, salamat sa Diyos na buhay. O sana ang aming awit sa anak ni David. Sa ngala ng Diyos na sana, pagpapala na ito sa amin. Nanalem, masayang nagawitan. O sana manunubos salamat sa Diyos na buhay o sana ang aming amin sa anak ni David sa ngala ng Diyos na sana pagpapalat pagtubos sa amin Let us pray Almighty and ever-living God, who as an example of humility for the human race to follow, cause our Savior to take flesh and submit to the cross, graciously grant that we may heed His lesson of patient suffering and so merit a share in His resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God has given me a well-trained tongue that I might know how to speak to the weary, a word that will rouse them. Morning after morning, he opens my ear that I may hear, and I have not rebelled, have not turned back. I gave my back to those who bit me, my cheeks to those who plucked my beard. My face I did not shield from buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? All who see me scoff at me. They mock me with parted lips. They wag their heads. He relied on the Lord. Let him deliver him. Let him rescue him if he loves him. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? Indeed, many dogs surround me. A pack of evildoers closes in upon me. They have pierced my hands and my feet. I can count all my bones. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? They divide my garments among them, and for my vesture they cast lots. But you, O Lord, be not far from me. O my help, hasten to aid me. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? I will proclaim your name to my brethren. In the meads of the assembly, I will praise you. You who fear the Lord, praise him. All you descendants of Jacob, give glory to him. Revere him, all you descendants of Israel. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me?
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Christ Jesus, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness, and found human in appearance. He humbled himself, becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bend of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord, to the glory of God, the Father. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Christ became obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name. The Passion of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Jesus stood before the governor and he questioned him. Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus said, You say so. And when he was accused by the chief priests and elders, he made no answer. Then Pilate said to him, Do you not hear how many things they are testifying against you? But he did not answer him one word, so that the governor was greatly amazed. Now, on the occasion of the feast, the governor were accustomed to release to the crowd one prisoner whom they wished. And at that time, they had a notorious prisoner called Barabbas. So when they had assembled, Pilate said to them, Which one do you want me to release to you? Barabbas, or Jesus, called Christ. For he knew that it was out of envy that they had handed him over. While he was still seated on the bench, his wife sent him a message. Have nothing to do with that righteous man. I suffered much in a dream today because of him. The chief priests and the elders persuaded the crowds to ask for Barabbas, but to destroy Jesus. The governor said to them in reply, Which of the two do you want me to release to you? They answered, Barabbas! Pilate said to them, Then what shall I do with Jesus called Christ? They all said, Let him be crucified! But he said, Why? What evil has he done? They only shouted the louder, Let him be crucified! When Pilate saw that he was not succeeding at all, but that a riot was breaking out instead, he took water and washed his hands in the sight of the crowd, saying, I am innocent of this man's blood. Look to it yourselves. And the whole people said in reply, His blood be upon us and upon our children. Then he released Barabbas to them. But after he had Jesus' courage, he handed him over to be crucified. 
Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus inside the praetorium and gathered the whole cohort around him. They stripped off his clothes and threw a scarlet military cloak about him. Weaving a crown of thorns, they placed it on his head and a reed in his right hand. And kneeling before him, they mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews! They spat upon him and took the reed and kept striking him on the head. And when they had mocked him, they stripped him of the cloak, dressed him in his own clothes, and led him off to crucify him. As they were going out, they met a Cyrenian named Simon. This man they pressed into service to carry his cross. And when they came to a place called Golgotha, which means place of the skull, they gave Jesus wine to drink mixed with gall. But when he had tasted it, he refused to drink. After they had crucified him, they divided his garments by casting lots. Then they sat down and kept watch over him there. And they placed over his head the written charge against him. This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Two revolutionaries were crucified with him, one on his right and the other on his left. Those passing by reviled him, shaking their heads and saying, You who would destroy the temple and rebuild it in three days, save yourself. If you are the Son of God, then come down from the cross. Likewise, the chief priest with the scribes and elders mocked him and said, To save others, he cannot save himself, so he is the king of Israel. Let him come down from the cross now, and we will believe in him. He trusted in God, let him deliver him now if he wants him. For he said, I am the son of God. The revolutionaries who were crucified with him also kept abusing him in the same way. From noon onward, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. And about three o'clock, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lema sabachthani. Which means, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Some of the bystanders who heard it said, this one is calling for Elijah. Immediately, one of them ran to get a sponge. He soaked it in wine and putting it on a reed, gave it to him to drink. But the rest said, Wait, let us see if Elijah come to save him. But Jesus cried out again in a loud voice and gave up his spirit. Please kneel. Please stand. And behold, the veil of the sanctuary was torn in two from top to bottom. The earth quaked, rocks were split, tombs were opened, and the bodies of many saints who had fallen asleep were raised. And coming forth from their tombs after his resurrection, they entered the holy city and appeared to many. The centurion and the men with him who were keeping watch over Jesus feared greatly when they saw the earthquake and all that was happening, and they said, Truly, this was the Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Today, we formally begin the Holy Week, ang mga mahal na araw o Simana Santa. 
Ang una ko pong paalala ay magbigay tayo ng paggalang sa mga puno kung saan ang mga hawak niyong palaspas ay dahil dyan sila ay nakalbo. Madalas ko po itong sinasabi at magandang paalala na mga palaspas na yan ay hindi agimat. Hindi yan agimat. Ano po? Pero dahil yan ay nabasbasan, sana bigyan ng paggalang. Pero pwede po niyong gawin sa mga palaspas na meron kayo, gumupit kayo ng konti. Ilagay niyo sa wallet ninyo. Hindi pa ang paswerte, pero para natitingnan ninyo araw-araw kung nabubulok ang palaspas. Pag nabubulok yan, ibig sabihin, pinapaalala sa inyo ang inyong kamatayan dala ng inyong mga kasalanan. Kasi kung walang kasalanan, walang kamatayan. Kaya nga, kung tinitingnan nyo yan at hindi yan nabubulok, nananatili ang berde, pwede ka nang hindi magsimba sa mga darating na araw. Kasi hindi ka na mamamatay. Ano po? Pero yung iba dyan, kalalagay pa lang sa wallet, pagtingin mo, bulok na bulok na. Alam mo na ang ibig sabihin yan. Ikalawa, pag tinatanong ang mga tao, saan nyo ilalagay ang palaspas? Ilalagay po sa pinto, Father. Ilalagay po sa bintana. Ilalagay po sa altar. Bakit sa altar? Kasi yan ay banal. Bakit po sa bintana? Kahit sa makabagong panahon, may sumasagot pa rin dyan para daw hindi pumasok ang kidlat. Ano pa? Pinapaalala ko sa inyo, walang kinalaman ng palaspas sa kidlat. Saan yung iba? Sa pinto. Bakit po sa pinto? Para po hindi makapasok ang masamang espiritu. Tama naman yon. Pero ang aking lang paalala, bago nyo ilagay sa pinto, ipasok nyo muna ang palaspas, iwasiwas nyo sa loob ng bahay ninyo para ang demonyo ay makalabas muna. Kasi kung ilalagay nyo kagad sa pinto, yung nasa loob, di na makakalabas. Sana naiintindihan ninyo. Ano po? Mga minamahal na mga kapatid, ang malungkot na kwento ay naiiwan lang tayo sa ritual at hindi natin naiintindihan ang kahalagahan. Pahintulutan niyo akong magbigay ng pagninilay sa unang ibanghelyo na una nating binasa because we will have enough time to contemplate on the passion of Christ in the coming days. The first gospel speaks of God starting in bit page. Ano po ibig sabihin ng bet page? Bet house, page, unripe, pigs. Ibig sabihin po ng bet house, page, unripe, pigs. Sa madalit sabi, yan ay tahanan o bahay ng hilaw na igos. Hilaw na igos. Maganda pong pagnilayan yun. Ang hilaw na igos. Doon nagsimula ang Diyos kung saan pinakuha niya sa kanya mga apostoles ang sasakyan niyang asno at bisiro. Unang-una, pag sinasabi nating hilaw, ang ibig sabihin talaga nun, hindi pa hinog. Tama po ba? Ang tanong ay, mahihinog ba o mabubulok? Mahihinog ba o mabubulok? Hindi na tayo magsisimula sa pagtatanim sapagkat ang puno ay nandyan na at namumunga na. Meron na siyang bungang igos, pigs. Pero ang tanong ay, yan ba ay makakain ko ng hinog o mabubulok? Mahalaga yan. Mahalagang itanong sa ating mga buhay, ano mga bagay-bagay sa ating mga pagkatao na hanggang ngayon, hindi nyo tinatapos. 
Ano yung mga pangako na hanggang ngayon hindi nyo tinutupad? Talagang magbabagong buhay na ako. Talagang magdadayat na ako. Talagang kung ano man, hindi na talaga ako magiinom. Hindi na ako maninigarilyo. Ano yung mga pangakong yan na hanggang ngayon hindi nyo nagagawa? Kaya ano, nananatiling hilaw ang mga igos ninyo sa buhay. Hindi nyo napapakinabangan ng biyaya ng Diyos. Bakit? Natatakot tayo na ano, yapusin ang kahirapan. Maraming beses ko na pong sinasabi ito. That our common enemy in life is what we call average. May aklat niyan sa National Bookstore. Bilhin ninyo. The problem, the enemy called average. Sa Tagalog, pwede na. Mahilig sa atin, marami tayo na nagsasabing, pwede na yan. Diba? Anong grade mo? Pwede na. Di ba? Sino na pangasawa mo? Pwede na. Di ba? <laughs> yung mga malapit ng maiwanan sa biyahe, nananabi ako, nagnunubi na sila kay St. Jude. At habang sila ay nagdadasal, tumitingin-tingin sila sa tabing ganyan. At yung unang ngingiti, akin ka. Di ba? At sabi nung ano, pwede na yan, pwede na. Ano pa? Hindi yan pwede. Mga minamahal na mga kapatid, hindi nag, namatay ang Diyos sa krus para lamang sa mga pwede na. Naintindihan po ba ninyo yon? Sayang naman ang pagkabayubay ng Diyos sa krus na ang kukunin mo lang ay pwede na. Na pwede naman na kung ikay magsusumikap, mas magiging matagumpay ka sa iyong buhay. Well, wala na akong magagawa do sa mga namili na lang pwede na. Hindi po ba, no? Panindigan nyo na yan. Ha? Mga minamahal. Ano yon? Kaya nating umunlad. Kaya nating maging matagumpay. Kaya nating ayusin ang ating mga buhay. Kung kaya nating yapusin ang bawat sakripisyo na kaakibat upang maabot ang ating mga pangarap. Di ba binibiro ko kayo? Na alin, marami sa atin, mananabi ako. Yung mga nakaupo sa wheelchair, yung iba. Nanay, ba't kayo nakaupo sa wheelchair? Hindi na ako makalakad, Father. Na-stroke ba kayo? Hindi, Father. Bakit hindi na kayo makatayo? Mabigat na ako, Father. Ano solusyon? Bawasan mo ang kain, hindi po ba? Bawasan mo ang kain, nanay. Madali lang yan. Bawasan nyo ang kain. Di ba? Kasi kung wala naman talaga yung diferensya, kaya nyo yan. Ano sagot sa akin na matanda? Hayaan mo na ako, Father. Pwede naman akong ganito na lang. Di ba? Sayang naman, no? Sayang naman. Mahirap yung tayo ay naiwan sa pangarap, pero ayaw nating kumilos. Nung kami elementary, sa probinsya, hindi ko alam kung alam niyo yung tinatawag na irrigation. Yung mga patubig sa palayan, merong irrigation. Gumagawa ng maliit na dam para yung tubig ay makaabot sa mataas-taas na lupa. Walang swimming pool noon sa probinsya. Naliligo kami doon sa irrigation. Siyempre, pagtalon mo, langoy aso ka. Langoy aso. Pero may classmate kami na palagi namin kasama. Pag kami naligo, sumisigaw yon Breaststroke! Breaststroke! Malay ko ba kung anong breaststroke? Hindi po ba? Ano? Hindi naman ako nagbabasa na. Baka may butterfly pa. Butterfly. Breaststroke. Wala. Sabi ko, tumalong ka. Turo mo sa amin. Ayaw niya. Breaststroke. Lo and behold, boy scout kami, nagcamping kami sa makiling. Namangha ako. 
First time ako nakakita ng swimming pool. First time. Kulang na lang, halikan ko. Sa sobrang ganda, ang linaw ng tubig, ang bango-bango, hindi po ba? Ang linis-linis. Kaya, talo na agad. Talo na. Paliguan ka agad. Ano po? Maya-maya, sasaya namin. Nagsisigawad doon sa kabilang swimming pool. May nalulunod daw. May nalulunod. So, alam niya naman tayo mga uzi. So, nagpunta kami. Tiningnan namin. Lo and behold, si breaststroke ang nalulunod. Ano po? Si singap-singap. Di po ba? Ha? Walang gustong tumalon kasi pag ikaw ay kinapitan yan, baka ikaw malubog. Siyempre, naalaala ko ang sabi niya. Kaya sumisigaw ako, breaststroke, breaststroke. Yun, nahimatay. Di po ba? Madali kasing sabihin pag ikaw ang wala sa tubig. No? Hindi kayo matututong lumangoy kung nagbabasa lang kay, kayo at dumada pa lang kayo sa lamesa at ganun kayo ng ganun. Kailangan ninyo. Hindi lang yung tayo ay tinuturuan ng Diyos na lumangoy. Ano, ano ang pangarap ng Diyos sa atin? Hari nawa, katulad tayo ni Pedro, na kaya nating lumakad sa ibabaw ng tubig. But how can we walk on the water if we don't want to get out of the boat? Keep this in mind. You will never walk on the water if you will not get out of the of the boat. What is the symbol of the boat? The symbol of our comfort. The symbol of our false security. Ayaw natin sumalis dun. Bakit? Feeling natin secure na secure tayo. Feeling natin tama na ito kasi komportable naman tayo. Pero nung pinapakita sa mga pagbasa na ngayon, maging ang Diyos ay nagbata. Niyapos ang hirap. Hindi para sa kanyang sarili, kundi sa kanyang bayan na minamahal. If we are unable to love ourselves, seeing ourselves progress and achieve greater things, how can we do it to other people? Kung hindi mo kaya magsumikap para sa iyong sarili, may kakanyahan ka bang magsumikap para sa iyong mga mahal sa buhay? Magandang itanong yon. Mga minamahal na mga kapatid, kahapon, sabi ng isang nanay, iniwan ako ng aking mga anak. Iniwan ako ng aking asawa, nasa probinsya. Matagal na siyang walang trabaho kasi hindi siya nakakasakay sa barko. Pero malungkot, Father, iniwan ako. Ang aking mga anak, ayaw akong padalawin. Sabi ng mga anak, pagpupunta ka sa kondo namin, magsabi ka muna. Kailangan na magpaalam ang magulang sa anak para sa pupuntahan ka sa kondo. Bakit? Kasi nakakalimutan natin ang lahat ng meron tayo ay biyaya. Ang lahat ng meron tayo ay hiram lamang. Mga minamahal na mga kapatid, habang may pagkakataon yung pwedeng magbigay, magbigay. Sapagkat darating ang araw na kahit anong iyong hawak, mabibitawan mo. Darating ang araw, kung ano man ang iyong hinahawakan, kukunin sa iyo yan ng pwersahan. Malungkot yun, hindi po ba? Ano? Bakit? Masyado tayong secure. Masyado tayong comfortable. Ano yung mga bagay na hanggang ngayon, sabi ko nga, nananatiling hilaw. Hindi tayo pwedeng manatiling ganyan kasi maiksilang ang buhay. Nakikiraan lang tayo. Nakikiraan lang tayo. Kuya, hindi ka habang panahong pogi, pwede ba? Magpakalalaki ka. Maraming beses ko yung sinasabi sa mga lalaki. Huwag niyong gagawing nanay ang isang babae na hindi niyo pwedeng gawing misis. Hello. Inuulit ko, never make a woman a mother if you cannot make her your wife. Why can't you make her your wife? Because you don't want to be responsible. 
Mahirap yun. Gusto lang nating kumabig, ayaw nating magbigay. Gusto lang nating malusog, pero ayaw nating bantayan ang ating mga kinakain. Gusto nating tayo may muscle, pero ayaw natin mag-exercise. Ang exercise lang marami, magbuhat lang ng tutsara at tinidor. Kaya ibang lumalaki, hindi po ba? Ano? ano yung mga bagay na yon mga minamahal na mga kapatid? Ang lahat ay pag-aari ng Diyos kung nananalig ka. Anong sabi ng Diyos? Pumunta ka sa bayan. Meron kang makikita nakatali, nakataling asno at bisiro. Kunin mo at pag tinanong, sabihin mo kailangan ko. Ibig sabihin, may pag-aari o pag-aari yan ng Diyos. If God is willing to give up His only begotten Son, is there anything God not capable of giving you? Have you asked that question? Kung hindi pinagkait ng Ama ang kanyang bugtong na anak, meron pa bang mga bagay na hindi pwedeng ibigay ang Diyos? Ang sagot doon ay wala. Kailangan mo lang hingin. Kailangan mo lang maging responsable sapagkat hindi ka pwede makinabang sa mga bagay na ayaw mong panagutan. Inuulit ko, maiksi lang ang buhay. Mahirap namang natapos tayo sa mundong ito, hindi nyo natapos o naabot ang mga biyayang nakalaan sa inyo. Mahalaga. Meron tayong kababaang loob sa mga mag-asawa, mag-usap, huwag magsigawan. Sapagkat piling natin, pag may sumisigaw, akala nila higit silang naririnig. Tandaan ninyo ito, Mr. Mrs. Kapag merong sumisigaw, ibig sabihin, merong hindi nakikinig. Kailan, kailan lang pwedeng sumigaw sa bahay? Isa lang. Ang rason kung bakit kayo pwedeng sumigaw sa bahay. Ano yon? Kapag nasusunog ang bahay. Kapag hindi nasusunog, walang may karapatang sumigaw. Ang malungkot na kwento ay, hindi na lang mag-asawa ang sumisigaw. Pati ang mga anak sumisigaw. Di po ba? Pagnilayan po natin ito. Mga minamahal na mga kapatid, napakaraming biyaya sa bukas ng ating buhay. Hindi niyo muna kailangan magtanim. Nandyan na yan. Nandyan na yan. Kailangan mo lang pahinugin. Dalawa lang naman ang pwedeng pagpapahinog, hindi po ba? Ang alin, hayaan mong manatili sa puno at bantayan mo na hindi kakainin ng paniki o pipitasin mong maaga at ikakalburo mo. Pero hindi yan mahihinog kung hindi ka magsusumikap. Ano yung mga bagay na yan? Taon-taon na lang, ganito na lang ba tayo? Ano yung mga bagay-bagay na yon na hindi matapos-tapos kasi ayaw nating panagutan? Remember, Beth Page, The House of Unright Pigs. Amen. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, through God from through God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended to heaven 
and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father in the Son, who with the Father in the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, let us invoke the perfect sacrifice of our Lord Jesus Christ, who was crucified and died, and humbly beseech God to hear our prayers. And every petition, let a response be, Lord, in your mercy, hear us. Lord, in your mercy, hear us. For the whole Christian people, that the palms may symbolize our commitment to follow Christ's example of offering himself on the cross, that we may learn likewise to offer our time, talent, and treasure to God, and for the good of our brothers and sisters, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord in, in your, your mercy, mercy, hear us. For the whole world, that all people may learn that selfishness and self-centeredness lead to a dead end. And it is in sharing oneself and being oriented towards others that there can be lasting joy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear us. For the sick, the suffering, and the dying, that passion and the blood of Christ may bring them healing, peace, and new life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear us. For our community, that we may choose to walk with Christ, stay with Christ in prayer, stand at the foot of the cross, and so also share in the joy, salvation, and glory of Easter. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear us. God, our loving Father, you showed us the depth of your love in the sacrifice of Christ. Through your Son's offering, we lift up to you the prayer of your people. Make us one with him so that we may follow him and share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The table of the Lord is now prepared. Pray, brothers and sisters, that the sacrifice of yours and mine be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Through the passion of your only begotten Son, O Lord, may our reconciliation with you be near at hand so that Though we do not merit it by our own deeds, yet 
by this sacrifice made once for all, we may feel already the effects of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to Let the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father. Almighty and eternal God through Christ our Lord. For though innocent, he suffered willingly for sinners and accepted unjust condemnation to save the guilty. His death was washed away our sins and his resurrection has purchased our justification. And so with all the angels in joyful celebration, we too acclaim. For those who cannot kneel, please put your right hand on your chest as a sign of reverence. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, gave you thanks broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave you thanks gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life in the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, all the bishops and all the clergy. Father, please hear the prayers of your children gathered here before your holy presence. Let's spend a few moments of silence. And I invite you, brothers and sisters, that you personally ask the Lord for a special grace you want to receive in this Eucharistic celebration. Ask the Lord. You only need to believe. You must learn to imagine the unimaginable for God to do the impossible. My brothers and sisters, if you commit, God commits. So us.
Remember also all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Padre Pio, Petrochina, and all the saints of Plesio throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Gathering all our prayers into one, let us now pray to the Father in the very words our Lord Jesus Christ taught us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all unnecessary worries and distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Kindly look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace within our hearts, peace in our mind, peace in our own homes, in our own families, peace in our workplace, peace here in our community, peace in our country and in the world, and grant you unity in accordance with your will who lives and reign forever and ever. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, the peace of our Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now bless one another by giving each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you.
My dear brothers and sisters, this is Jesus, the resurrection and the life, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are you who are invited here to receive Him in holy communion. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. For a solemn reception of communion, we will do it row by row. Please follow the guidance of our ushers. For those outside the chapel, extraordinary ministers of Holy Communion will be stationed near the bridges to distribute Holy Communion. Kindly form two lines before them. Thank you. Jesus the 
Let us pray the prayer of Padre Pio Petrochina. Stay with me, Lord, for it is necessary to have you present so that I do not forget you. You know how I easily abandon you. Stay with me, Lord, because I am weak and I need your strength, that I may not fall so often. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my life, and without you I am without fervor. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my light, and without you I am in darkness. Stay with me, Lord, to show me your will. Stay with me, Lord, so that I hear your voice and follow you. Stay with me, Lord, for I decide to love you very much and always be in your company. Stay with me, Lord, if you wish me to be faithful to you. Stay with me, Lord, for as poor as my soul is, I want it to be a place of consolation for you, a nest of love. Stay with me, Jesus, for it is getting late and the day is coming to a close, and life passes, death, judgment, eternity approaches. It is necessary to renew my strength so that I will not stop along the way, and for that I need you. It is getting late and death approaches, I fear the darkness, the temptations, the dryness, the cross, the sorrows. Oh, how I need you, my Jesus, in this night of exile. Stay with me tonight, Jesus. In life with all its dangers, I need you. Let me recognize you as your disciples did at the breaking of the bread, so that the Eucharistic communion with the light which disperses the darkness, the force which sustain me, the unique joy of my heart. Stay with me, Lord, because at the hour of my death, I want to remain united to you, if not by communion, at least by grace and love. Stay with me, Jesus. I do not ask for divine consolation, because I do not merit it, but the gift of your presence. So yes, I ask this of you. 
Stay, stay with me, Lord, for it is you alone I look for. Your love, your grace, your will, your heart, your spirit, because I love you and ask no other reward but to love you more and more. With a firm love, I will love you with all my heart while on earth and continue to love you perfectly during all eternity. Amen. Let us pray. Nourish with these sacred gifts, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that just as through the death of your Son, you have brought us to hope for what we believe, so by his resurrection, you may lead us to where you call through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for a while. We will now have a second collection for our Love a Parish program. Despite the pandemic, Greenbelt Chapel continues to regularly support the works of charity and truth of our 475 beneficiaries like Caritas Manila, the Missionaries of Charity of Mother Teresa, Little Sisters of the Poor, Missionaries of the Poor, Tulay ng Kabataan, Radio Veritas, and TV Maria. We are also helping contemplatives like the Poor Clares and Carmelites all over the country who are praying for our intentions. Thank you very much for your valuable support. We are grace, grateful, and generous. May God bless your generous hearts. our beneficiaries, maraming maraming salamat po. Ano po? Naway suklian ng Diyos ang inyong mga kagandahang loob. Let us all rise. Announcement lang pahabol. Many of the priests asked, Father, can you tell the congregation that the final blessing after Mass suffice for the need for any blessing. Kung ano man po ang prayer of blessing pagkatapos ng Misa, sapat na po yun para sa mga may birthday, may wedding anniversary. Ano po? Huwag nyo nang susundan si Father sa likod, sabi nila. Ano po? Tama na yun. Ano po? Second, madalas pong sobra na sa isang buwan yung paalala na Refrain from the clapping of hands after the mass. Pero pa rin pumapalakpak. Ano po? Hindi ko maintindihan ko ano hindi niyo maintindihan. Ano po? Baka dahil English. Ano po? Tatagalogin ko. Huwag kayong pumalakpak pagkatapos ng misa. 
ano po, para maintindihan ninyo, ano po, Father, talagang feel na feel ko. <laughs> May talaga mga ganun, ano? Ha? Going back to what I've said, when we were in college, I cannot understand why we have to be poor. Naloko ang tatay namin sa negosyo, kaya naghirap kami nung college. Walang baon, min at dumating ang araw na kami magkapatid, isa lang ang sapatos. Pero hindi yun ang dahilan para hindi kami makatapos. Ang panganay, naging industrial engineer. Ako, licensed mechanical engineer. Yung sumunod, electrical. Yung bunsong lalaki ay civil. Hindi naging dahilan ng kahirapan. Ano ibig ko sabihin? Tinutulungan ng Diyos ang mga taong tumutulong sa sarili. Kaya kung hindi tayo tumutulong sa ating sarili, napakahirap naman sa Diyos, na? Tulungan mo. Yung iba, hindi makatapos dahil hindi makapagsimula. Pero ngayon, sinimula na ng Diyos. Ang sinasabi ng Diyos, huwag mo mang sayangin. Tapusin mo. Mga minamahala mga kapatid, Madalas ko itong sinasabi kung anong iyong tinanim, siyang iyong aanihin. Kaya pag umani ka ng walang tinanim, ang tawag sa iyong magnanakaw. Pero ang Diyos ang nagtanim, aalagaan mo na lang. Huwag kayong mga kalimot, maiksilang ang buhay, sayang naman ang biyaya. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. If it's your birthday, if it's your wedding anniversary, regardless, receive the blessing. Look, we pray, O Lord, on this your family gathered here, for whom our Lord Jesus Christ did not hesitate to be delivered into the hands of the wicked and submit to the agony of the cross, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you and your family the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We now go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Walang sino marang nabubuhay para sa sarili lamang Walang sino marang sa sarili lamang Tayong lahat ay may pananagutan sa isa't isa Tayong lahat ay tinipo ng Diyos na kapiling niya Sa ating pagmamahalan at paglilingkot sa kanino man Tayo ay nagkadala ng balita ng kaligtasan. Tayong lahat ay may pananagutan sa isa't isa. Tayong lahat ay tinipo ng Diyos na kapiling niya. Thank you, sisters and brothers, for coming to celebrate the Mass with us. May you all have a safe week. At hindi nababasbasan ng palaspas, dito po kayo sa harap.